for today's project, I am going to sew some reusable coffee filters. Um, and this is a pattern that, that I've used quite a few times. And um, on the pattern itself, it says that it is ten and a half. Um, but that's not entirely accurate. It's slightly bigger than ten and a half inches. Um, but that size seems to work pretty good um, for for my purposes. And the the fabric is an unbleached muslin. Um, I believe it's 100% cotton. Um, the unbleached just makes sense for me um, because you're just going to be pouring coffee and water into it, so you don't want a whole lot of dyes. So I'm going to cut out probably about four of these um, coffee filters um, just so I have a have a few. Um, um, a couple of the filters that I had um, got coffee grounds into them, so I'm going to alter the way that I sew up the, the next bunch of filters. Now that I've got my fabric cut out, what I'm going to do is fold it in half and try to line up the the ends is the size as much as possible um, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to fix that in a second and then fold it over once more again and again just trying to line it up as as good as possible and now what I'm going to do is pin the sides And I think I'm going to start from the bottom. And I'm going to start pinning about a about an inch from the bottom. Okay, and my um, cone coffee filter actually has a, a flat bottom, so what I'm going to do next is just take a snip of the bottom there, just to give it a, a, flat, um, a flat area, just so it'll, it'll lay right. Before I start sewing, um, I'm gonna even up some of the some of the ends. Um, for for some reason, even though the circle that I that I have the pattern for looks pretty round, um, it seems like I I always need to just even out the ends. So what I'm gonna do is just take a pair of scissors and um, now that everything is pinned up, I'm gonna just even out some of the some of the ends. turning it over just to see how everything is looking. It's almost looking good again. Okay, now that that work is, is done, I am going to start um, sewing up the ends um, with a whip stitch. Um, and for my thread, um, I found I found a thread that um, I think matches pretty well to the to the fabric, pretty close to the to the color that I'm that I'm using. Um, and when I buy fabric, I usually buy thread at the same time, just to make sure it's a good match. So this is the the fabric. Uh, 
the thread that I'm using and I got this at Joanne Fabrics. Usually they've got a pretty good selection. And the the whip stitch I think is the most basic stitch. Um, one of the most basic stitches um, for, for hand sewing. I think it's a really good um, beginner kind of stitch. And so this is the stitch that I'm going to be using to, to sew up the, the ends. And when I'm finished with, with this, I will be back to work on a straight stitch on the, on the bottom to just kind of give it an extra bit of, bit of reinforcement. For the whip stitching around the edges here, I ended up making um, three passes just to make sure there was plenty of of structure and support um, and then I stopped about one inch on this end um, just to make it easier for the stitching that's going to happen up there and um, in addition I'm also be I'm also going to do a straight stitch across and I think it's always a good idea to um, to mark where you're going to stitch. I think it just makes it a lot easier. Um, so your stitching isn't isn't crooked and and you're you're sure you're staying with the with the, all the all the other stitching that has come before it. And to to mark this stitching, I'm using a um, a marking pencil. Um, usually I use a, a white marking pencil, but I tried the white one and it didn't show up at all on this fabric. So, um, so blue, blue works best. <laughs> and the straight stitch is a very simple stitch. I think it's a really good beginner stitch. And I think that I will probably do three passes on on this as well. Just to just to be sure it's it's really got a a really good seam. Um, just because the last thing you you want is coffee grounds to end up in in your in your cup or um, worse to to get stuck in the folds of the of the fabric because um, there's actually quite a bit of of places that coffee grounds could end up during during the process so doing a, a few extra stitches is certainly a good idea and I will finish this up and then I will move on to the the top of of the of the project now it's time to start folding the the rest of this and start stitching up the the rim of, of this coffee filter um, usually I would do a, a a bit of measuring and making sure everything is looking the same um, but in this particular case I think just folding down the fabric just as as small as as you can is really the way to go and I'm going to just continue folding and then when I'm done, I'm going to do a whip stitch on, on this piece of the project.
Now that I'm done with the pinning, um, I'm ready to start the whip stitching. Um, and as you'll see, this is the, the reason why I stopped about an inch from the end here. It just makes it makes it easier to fold down this, this fabric without running into this um, bit of, of stitching there. So the, the whip stitch is going to be just a very, very tiny little stitch that we're just going to do all around the, the ends here. And it's so easy to snag one of these, one of these pins. And I'm just straightening out my my thread as I as I go. It will it will get tangled and it will snag on the on the pins. But just do it slowly and keep going. Okay, I finished whip stitching all around. And as I'm looking at the edges and how uneven they are, I'm really wishing that I had measured. Um, it's not terribly important because it's a coffee filter, um, but I'm going to notice this every time I go and, and use it for a cup of coffee. So next time I think that I will measure it. And for the last part, we're just going to sew up the, the ends here this little one inch that we had to had to leave in order to sew up the the top of it properly and i i do like this project this is a, a nice little little break from from bigger projects um, I have projects in, in mind for for skirts and, and blouses, but this is kind of a fun afternoon kind of kind of project. Um, I would I would say each of these coffee filters probably probably takes about an hour or so just to just to do all the sewing. Um, but it's a nice little little break. From the from the bigger bigger projects that um, because I I do all the hand sewing the bigger projects um, tend to take about a about a month or so but so it's it's nice to be able to just do a a simple project um, you know being able to cut everything out and do all the sewing and have it completely done within within the span of one afternoon. And since I've I've done this particular project a few times, it's it's begins to look really familiar and um, it's just nice not to have to figure stuff out. So definitely a nice a nice project to to kind of break up the, the bigger projects. And for, for tying off um, thread, um, I like to do it three times. I'm not sure if it's for luck or what, but um, three times just seems to be my, my favorite way to, to finish off a piece of thread. So at this point, the, um, the reusable coffee filter is all done and ready to be used.